My name is Andra Tanase. I'm a youth worker and a facilitator, um, working a lot in Erasmus uh, world and in the Erasmus uh, environment. And uh, I have been in this field for uh, more than 15 years and uh, enjoy every single experience of uh, Erasmus. A very interesting method that can be used uh, at the beginning of programs in Erasmus Plus and not only is uh, Mission Impossible. Probably everybody has heard about the name Mission Impossible. What does it mean? It means that uh, we have a series of tasks that participants engage in in order to um, break the ice of uh, participation and engagement to be very, very interactive in order to get to know the community well, um, where they will work and uh, also in order to have a first-hand experience with uh, the, the skills, the attitudes and the information that they will process later in the training. And uh, before we, uh, I will post the, the tasks, I will tell you a little story. And it is about a kingdom that will appear in your Mission Impossible. And this kingdom is um, Erasmus kingdom. Have you visited this kingdom? You said that Erasmus land, yeah? This kingdom of Erasmus has uh, started a few years back. Any of you know how old the kingdom of Erasmus is? Mm -hmm, a bit older than 30. It's, it's an old kingdom, but not that old. In 87, it started to be set up somewhere in Europe. There are different kingdoms in the kingdom. There, there is the kingdom of exchanges, there is the kingdom of strategic partnerships, and there is the kingdom of... Let's see who knows Erasmus. Key Action 3, it's called the Kingdom of Key Action 3. Structured dialogue, where young people together with authorities are making the rules for the entire Erasmandia. But also sports and others. So little kingdoms, different paths, different people in Erasmandia. How is the whole experience how do people feel in Erasmandia? Erasmic. Yeah. So we'll try to find the Erasmic feeling uh, of empowerment, of different capacities, of getting out of comfort zones, and this is how they feel. It is very good for participation because uh, normally it is used in the early phases of a training or an exchange program, and um, it covers um, all of the aspects that later on will be detailed in a training. So for example, the Mission Impossible could have in it um, statistics about the local community. A Mission Impossible could have in it um, an exchange of an object that participants have with the local community. In this way, learning uh, some elements about the local community and the local culture, but also starting to engage and practically acquiring the skills of intercultural communication. So this wonderful group of young people were faced in the kingdom number two, with strategic partnership, with a mission. A mission impossible. A mission that um, they will accomplish in 60 minutes. It will be posted, of course, on their social media group. But the tasks to be done are the following. One, find the objectives of the training and put them next to the agenda, the day-by-day -day schedule. Draw the land of Erasmus. Create a poster with the expectations and fears of all participants, include everybody. 
Make a nice work of art, it can be a song, a sculpture or a painting in which you present the contributions of the participants for this week. So what participants are actually bringing in. Create a poster with the house rules for making this experience Erasmic. Have it signed by everybody. Create a group dance where every culture is presented. Walk through the village and take some pictures to represent diversity, connection, inclusion, coexistence, exclusion, minority, and put the album on Facebook. Exchange an object that you have for a local souvenir. Explain Erasmus Plus to a local person and ask them to say in one or two sentences what Erasmus Plus is and make a video out of this and post it on Facebook. So you have to explain it and then make sure that the person understood. Salud. Make an opinion poll in order to find out what the wishes and concerns of local youth are. Represent your result with some graph or chart and create a playlist for us to use this week and put a note on the Facebook group. And this is all in 60 minutes. And this is all, of course, in 60 minutes. It's like all Mission Possible movies. Um, and this is the task that you will have as a group. Strategically, the 60 minutes, 60 minutes will end at the lunch break. So uh, you cannot go uh, longer. I wish you good luck. I will post now all these uh, indications on Facebook. The objectives of the training, the first task are some notes. They are four and they are to be found somewhere in the room. And for the rest, good luck, enjoy. But probably most of all, the Mission Impossible instills, puts in the participants the trust that they can participate meaningfully, that they can be active and can do something in a program, in a project, in life, in their communities. The results of the Mission Impossible come quite quickly after the Mission Impossible is implemented and Many, many participants, I would say most participants, may say that they had an aha moment when taking part in Mission Impossible. Like in the movies, it is always possible, it is always achieved. So in projects where participation of young people is the focus, I would highly recommend to implement Mission Impossible. How is it possible? Possible. I am possible. Depends how you look at it. Depends whether you want to see spaces or not. Depends whether you read it as it is or as you want it to be. And of course, it depends if you have seen this image before and you know the play upon the words. Impossible or I am possible depends on the take.